Yeah, all right, everybody. So, um, working on the wing and uh, putting some several coats of uh, spackle to it. It's um, let's see, the top surface is on its third application of spackle and sanding uh, on the top surface. Third application on the top surface. And there you can see how that's going. Um, the most recent application I was focused most on the leading edge. I wanted to smooth this area out in this transition from the leading edge um, to the main cord area of the wing uh, from the first stringer back towards the drilling edge. So you, know, you want to shape your leading edge but you also want to shape um, into the transition. You don't want an abrupt transition here. You don't want this to come up and then fold back. Uh, so when I'm radiusing, wetting, and, and uh, curving uh, the infill pieces, I'm, I have that in mind, but also you end up almost invariably with a bit of a peak here that needs to be softened. And so that's what I was kind of focused on, softening that, as well as filling in some of the areas here where uh, the forward leading edge infill pieces may have not had the radius that I that I wanted. So, a couple things there. Um, underside of the wing is at its second application, and again, all all of these applications have been so far with the putty knife uh, applied dry from the bucket or just as is from the bucket, without any uh, water added. All of the uh, I think I'll do one more application of the paste with the trowel that way with the uh, applicator that way one more application that way on top and bottom and sand it away and then all subsequent applications maybe one or two subsequent applications will be uh, wetted and rubbed in by hand um, and that's the that's the applic those are the applications I use prior to uh, actually polishing the finish polishing the wood for uh, prior to the um, primering uh, the painting with primer and surface prep. Right, so uh, one more dry application or straight from the tub application uh, to both surfaces of the wing is coming up uh, to get this completely um, smooth. And the other thing is I want to talk about the pilot that I'm fabricating. So it's going to be real simple, basic. Uh, what I did was take two pieces of my um, quarter inch sheet ply or sheet balsa and just stripped off about a two inch wide section of that cut it in half cut it in half and and joined it uh, you know glued them together face to face there that gave us our net thickness here uh, and then began to carve so I cut it out r roughly to the outline of this uh, template and then just started shaping it with sandpaper uh, some of the harder edges were were sh were um, carved with the um, uh, ne needle file, uh, and then the face area. I'm probably going to try and sculpt that with the um, with the uh, Sherwin Williams spackle, and then lay on a couple of coats of sand and seal over that to soften those hard edges. And we'll see what that looks like. Right now, it's just. Um, pretty rough. That's the initial application of, of the spackle and uh, so far none of the sanded seal has been laid on that to, to uh, soften that up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Well, it's either sawdust or something else. Anyway, uh, once again, the, my uh, work, work area is nice and clean. So the fuselage uh, tail has been, um, you know, the tail and and uh, fus and <laughs> tail surfaces and fuselage joints have all been spackled. Uh, we still have a little bit more work to do on those little fillets and fairings. Um, not much though. There's there's not much to those. So uh, less is more. I'll probably just be sanding and trying to clean those up just a little bit. Right, um, 
you can, I don't know if I've done too much in the cockpit, but there's there's the cockpit as it sits just now. Uh, so, at any rate, um, there's that. Haven't done anything else with the motor just yet. Been working on the wing. As soon as we get that situated with all of the uh, spackle applied and surface prep for paint, uh, we can go back and start working on some of the other things. So as far as order of battle or the order of construction goes now, uh, once the wing is done, the next step will be to install that wing uh, to the airframe. We can install the wing to the airframe and we have to prior to paint because there is a belly pan that has to be fabricated we're going to have to install the wing here and then run stringers across the bottom the length of the length of the underside of the wing here and then infill those uh, and sand all of that and use filler and spackle and everything else uh, to round that out and get it to match uh, the surface prep condition of the fuselage itself so that's going to be tricky with the wing installed and then with the landing gear wires uh, sticking through so remember all of that has to be done we have to get our landing gear bent and uh, situated installed in its uh, modular component there uh, so I'll either I'll probably do that after the wing is in the fuselage and the reason I want to do it after the wing is installed is because then when I get the wing square to the fuselage body and so forth uh, then it'll, we'll be looking at it and making sure we get the landing gear square. So if I stick the landing gear in here and it's not even and then I put the wing on and then I even up the wing and it, the landing gear is not square or I square up the landing gear but the wing is crooked you, you see what I'm saying. So I'm going to get the wing in there and make sure it's square to the fuselage and everything and then we'll fabricate the landing gear build that little sandwich that modular component and then we'll start fitting that and making sure that it, then it's square so in, the, in other words, you're, you only want it to be squaring up one thing at a time. I'm not trying to get two, you know, different components square to each other and then square to the airplane. That, that, that doesn't always fly. I want everything to reflect against the airplane itself. And uh, the best way to do that is one step at a time. So that's why we're going to do it that way. We'll get the wing installed, get the landing gear fabricated, get the, fabric, get the landing gear installed, and then we'll be uh, working on the belly pan, um, finishing off the fuselage under the wing. Once that's all done, uh, then I'll be looking at the wheel fairings and, and uh, getting those squared away and, um, and the wheel pants. So lots to do yet. Again, we're, I don't even know, maybe 60%, six, 60 percent of our uh, toward completion. Uh, I don't know if I showed in an earlier video, I did cut away uh, the uh, extra material from the canopy. This is what the canopy should look like. It buttons on there with about an eighth of an inch to spare against the back wall. About an eighth of an inch overlap there at the back, eighth inch at the bottom. And then goes around over the fuselage and back around to the other side. So uh, we still have to peel the blue uh, ceiling tape off of that. The, protective film tape off of uh, off of the canopy and mask and paint the canopy uh, so there's still that step to do and so that's where we are this is our current uh, status of the project like as I said lots of work yet to do uh, one of the things I need to do is clean out this desk I'll get right on that <laughs> but anyway um, you're caught up on the project again I, I'm, I'm a little laggy on getting these uploaded to YouTube so there's going to be a dump here <laughs> about seven or eight videos probably you know, hopefully in the next day or two it, it, it is so time consuming getting these up uploaded but you know that's that's what we're doing we're doing projects and documenting the progress and how how things are done and I'm, I'm hoping this is helpful uh, on some level at some point right um, that, that people will be able to utilize some of these techniques themselves or at least get some entertainment out of it out of watching me struggle with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So anyway, thanks for viewing uh, the channel. Uh, post any comments you might have in the comment section. Again, I appreciate uh, those who are subscribing. That's awesome. You know, it's cool. It's good. 
Anyway, all right, thank you. Have a good day.